Hi, Shay Given here. You're watching Irish Football Fan TV. So I'm just here with uh, some League of Ireland legends. Um, what was your thoughts on the game? Well, I thought it was a very open game. Um, I always fancied uh, Dun Dundalk to do it in the end because me found my gaffer and all that. The old Cork City one, in fairness, over the last couple of years. But win the double and that, I thought they were going to go for it today. And it panned out that way. I thought they were well deserved. They, they were winners in the end, yeah, and they deserved. Cheryl, what about yourself? Best team won. Done that. Always the best team. Best team in the league over the last number of years. Unlucky not to win the league last year, but that's the way it goes. This year they've done the double again, so happy days. Yeah, I thought it was a tremendous game of football, a great advert for, uh, for uh, the League of Oral itself. I mean, you know, people are always saying, oh, it's hoof ball this and hoof ball that. It was a nice football, and I thought it was quite end-to-end. -end. Yeah, yeah, 100%. It was always going to be an end-to-end -end game because, in fairness, if you look at League of Ireland football over the last couple of years, it's always been between Cork, Dundalk. They played the game in the right way. We've got two good managers in John Caulfield and Stephen Kenny. And today was, a, as you say, a good advertisement for the game. Absolutely. Do you think now that um, Dundalk just look like unstoppable at the moment? Do you think with a bit of, you know, they've obviously got the backing now, do you think with a bit of recruitment, maybe good recruitment in the summer to add to what, what they already have, um, they could maybe push on maybe next season? I think it, it comes in, in cycles, to be honest with you, because <clears throat> it seems to go when Dundalk win it. Cork City will come with a burst the following year, they'll do their homework and they'll go from that end of things. But Known John Caulfield and known Stephen Kenny, they, they are good adversaries, but they're good allies as well. They know what is required for the League of Ireland, and they know what to win the league. They will go to the next level each time. Yeah, it's just the fact that um, Cork are going to be doing cutbacks apparently with the with their budget. How do you see them kind of faring up over the summer? Well, if the same with players they, leaving. They, if they do cutbacks, Cork are absolutely going to ruin the league. Car for me is great to see two clubs, the best two clubs in the league that are playing against each other and trying their best to promote the league. Yeah. And if Cork do cutbacks, Dundalk, be Dundalk, Dundalk yeah. is just going to kick on and kick on. And and that, kick that won't on. be good for the league. It won't be good. It won't be good for the league at all. So it's up to Cork to look. There's enough backing in Cork as a county in themselves to bring it forward. So they might be saying at the minute that this is going to happen and that's going to happen. They've got a month or two to get the house in order. When they get the house, I'm sure they will get the house in order. Hopefully, when they get the, yeah, hopefully. When hopefully. they get the house in order, they will. They will compete with Dundalk. I don't think be, it, it'd be sad for the League of Ireland to have one team dominating Luke Rovers in their right. 80s. 100%. Dominating, dominating, dominating. You need to have Luke the last couple of years, Cork, Rovers, or not Rovers. Uh, Dundalk fighting, challenging yeah. each other, putting the pressure on. Rovers hopefully down with a few quid that are out and getting for the young kid that went up to Man City that they can invest in it. Otherwise, League of Orleans, you know, it's going to go down the path because you're going to have one team dominating, 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 and that's Dundalk for me. Okay. Right, that's absolutely brilliant stuff. I have to agree with everything you've both said. Thanks very much for your time. No problem. Pop, no Cheers. problem. Thanks a minute.